My name is Mabam, Tate for Dash. I'm here to talk about this D project. Uh, the main idea is uh, when we cut the sensors, we should make a piano sound with the computer. Uh, we use the serial transmitting data. Uh, Mohammed was uh, responsible for the main module, and Maggie was responsible for the synchronous transmitter uh, module, and Benyawi was uh, responsible for connecting the sensors and the board uh, with wire. Uh, I was responsible for integrating and debugging the code, and Fawzi was responsible for the Java code that reads the serial uh, input from the serial port RS232. Uh, and Khattab was responsible for the pen assignment and uh, also integrating and debugging with me the code. Uh, I was responsible for connecting the board with the serial uh, input and, uh, and the sensors. We have six sensors. Uh, each sensor uh, represents our time in the piano. Uh, I connected the, the sensors using uh, cables. Each sensor has uh, three cables. The blue one represents the, the ground. And the brown one is the VCC, 5 volts. And the black wire represents the output to the Altera board. So when, when we pass each uh, sensor, it sends a, it sends a signal to Altera board. Uh, the Altera board sends serial output to the Java code. Thank you. I'm Mohamed, uh, I was the one responsible for coding the main module, uh, which is the CGTIO. The CGTIO basically consists of an uh, input, which is a clock and output which is the serial output which is connected to the board uh, and there is also the input uh, which is the six sensors uh, basically what, what this module does uh, that when uh, uh, the sensor beam is cut it sends uh, the, there is an array uh, in the module which holds the actual data of the sensors which is connected to a number of LEDs uh, number of LEDs which is eight bits in size and when one sensor is being cut, it holds the data and then the LED, uh, the LED on the board uh, gets like now. Uh, hello, my name is Ahmed Magdi, uh, 34 16019 uh, I was responsible for the synchronous transmitter module. Uh, I basically did the configuration of the clock alongside with the configuration of the port rate. Uh, the module itself is responsible for sending uh, uh, an 8 bit uh, input to the RS232 port. Uh, if the port is not ready, uh, it's not, uh, it not busy, it starts sending them uh, bit by bit. Thank you. Okay, well, I helped out with the part where we connected the trans, the, we made the asynchronous transmitter module transmit the output to the FPGA to the laptop and uh, assign the pin assignment so the sensor on the LEDs and uh, connected the variables of the uh, module to the physical parts. Okay, hi, my name is uh, Mohamed Aoudi, I'm first for Dash, I'm responsible for the Java code. Uh, the Java code basically uh, reads uh, the, the, the serial input from the port, from the board to the computer, and it does that by a library called uh, javax.com. Uh, we, the, in the main method, we read uh, uh, the port uh, named comx, and uh, we read from it uh, the serial number. The serial number is taken and then we switch on it and uh, check uh, which combination of binary number it is. And then uh, according to the, the binary number, we trigger some buttons on the keyboard using the job, uh, using a, a, a library called robot. The, right, the library uh, triggers the buttons and the buttons then triggers the virtual uh, PM. Now I'm gonna try the serial reading. It reads zero from the board because the sensors are off. Now I'm gonna try to put my hand on one of them. Only one sensor is working. It means one. The second it's two. The third is four. Just like reading binary. Okay, if I put two fingers, now we're sending six. Now seven. Now I'm gonna try the piano. Two fingers. Three fingers.
So this is a proof that multi tiles can be pressed at one time using all. Thanks for watching. Sunny one. And there's a lot of people